Rashi tells us at the end of the sixth day of creation that Hashem finished everything that he did, he created, and it says that he saw that everything was good, but yet Rashi says that there was one thing that was missing, and that was menucha, rest. And so Hashem decided by Shabbos, by menucha, that he needed to rest, and Shabbos was created as the day of rest for us. There has been no other week in our generation in which we needed Shabbos more than this week. We're coming off a week which is without question the most difficult for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. And just saying those words has a, a shiver, sends a shiver throughout our bodies. How do we find the ability to have menucha, to rest, to take comfort? We've cried so much. We, we try to connect with our brothers and sisters in Israel who have been devastated. We try to daven, we try to raise our voices, we try to connect our neshamas to theirs. We are in pain. How do we find menucha? So the Svarim tell us the following mashal. A person creates a product. And the person who creates the product usually wants to put their stamp on it somehow, their signature on it somehow. Why? Because they know that they created this product and it will now be used by someone else, but the person who's going to use it, and whether it's someone who buys it or it's someone they give it to, that person is not going to have an appreciation for all of the hours the individual spent creating the product, thinking of it, how should it be, what are the details, and actually crafting it. So they want to put their stamp there because they know that they are going to be forgotten. When Hashem created the world, He didn't create the world and then give it off, and then that's it. It's gone. No, Hashem created the world, and we, Kalal Yisrael, we attest to the fact that Hashem creates the world again and again every single day. That Hashem makes the creation every day when the sun rises, every night when the sun goes down. Effectively, we are reminded every single day that Hashem is here, Hashem is present, Hashem is engaged in our lives and in this world. We don't know why terrible tragedies happen. But we do know that Netzach Yisrael lo yishaker, that the Eternal One, the Eternal One of the Jewish people, the God of the Jewish people, will be there for us as he was there for us in the past. Who was there for our fathers and for us. He, Hashem, will be there for us now again. And it is with that that we take comfort. That the Torah is eternal just as Hashem is eternal. And that Am Yisrael, the Jewish people, are eternal. And that no matter who rises and attempts to destroy us, they will never be successful. Because we are the stamp, we are the seal, we are the signature that Hashem wrote on this product, on this world. We are the ones, we are the identifying markers that show Hashem's name and His presence in this world. And that within itself should give us chizuk, should give us strength to be able to lift ourselves up for Shabbos, to be able to take comfort, to take this menucha, to be able to bring up our spirits and connect and support our brethren in Eretz Yisrael that are going through the most difficult time. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu give us true menucha, give them true comfort, the ultimate menachem, and may he watch over our precious chayalim who are protecting Am Yisrael, and may we be zoche to ultimately be able to be comforted by the greatest comforter of them all, by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the creator of the world, who remains the eternal one of the Jewish people, who we remain, his eternal children, who he loves and will forever love. May we be zoche to see his peace and the recognition of his presence in this world by all of the world's inhabitants, by all who he created. Thank you for listening. May Hashem protect Am Yisrael during this difficult time and wishing everyone a Shabbos of Menucha.